X-Men comics. When they were good, they were good. When they were bad, they were bad. No. No, I just wish they'd stop because they have just ruined it completely. Marvel, DC, all this gay shit they keep pushing. People are sick to their stomachs of it. We have an upcoming issue where um, Mystique is going to be marrying Destiny and they have to push out of some big summer event and everybody needs to get on board with that. Nobody cares, but no, that's what they're doing. And if you thought that was bad, well, no, they have to make it a little extra worse because now, now they're basically putting Iceman out there as a whore. That's it. Bobby Drake, Omega Level Mutant, one of the coolest X-Men with powers you ever, you ever saw, you know, really would do something with that character? No. Ever since, ever since they decided to make Iceman into the gay mutant after Gene basically brainwashed him? No. No, he's just the gay mutant running around out there, and now they've turned him into some kind of frozen horror for anybody who wants it. But this is the audience that Marvel and the X-Men office were chasing. And you got to, you really have to see how sick this really is. Eh? You really got to see. From this article in Out Magazine, isn't it? Eh? Gay X-Men fans are freaking out over Hunky Hercules and Twinkie Iceman on a new comic cover. So this is apparently supposed to be some kind of variant cover for the, um, the wedding of Mystique and Destiny and all that they got there. So they have Iceman here and a Hercules who apparently is now gay as hell for some reason. You understand that you have his arm around him. They have Black Cat who despite years of being with men and, and, being, and being a straight woman, now they decided to make her bisexual because everybody needs to. Loki is now queer or some of that nonsense. And, you know, it's, it's just wrong. They go on. It's the gay X-Men coupling of the year. They talk about the, the wedding. It should come up in Marvel Voices Pride with Mystique and Destiny and how that's going to be happening and all of this. And, and you know, it's written by Kieran Gillen. Now, this is the cover here. You understand me? And, and as they say, um, the full cover here, Hercules, Iceman, Black Cat, Loki, you have Gwenpool and this Liberace looking Spider-Man so and so that they decided to put in there because that's that's especially important. You understand me? But no, you would think that with all of this they would leave it, but no, in the comments, you're getting to see exactly the kind of people that Marvel and the X-Men office are doing this shit when you listen to the kind of the kind of stuff that they're putting out and it tells you what these people are interested in. Here's the first one. Her casually recruiting Bobby for either a one-night threesome or a full poly relationship with Novar. Just love the idea of Hook and his twinks. These are the people that they put out there for Hook. I love the idea of Hook and his twinks. Let's go on. Next one. Bobby being the pass around party bottom of Marvel right now, like no wonder him and Romeo never made it official. Yeah, so basically it's saying that Iceman is now some some frozen or whore who just goes with any man that, they, that, that even looks at him. This, this, is, this is what you have reduced the character to. This is it. What you have reduced the character to. It goes on. It goes on. That next one here says, look at this whore every month sitting on a different, well, you know what's coming next. That's it. That's how you're referring to Iceman. Look at this whore every month sitting on a different. You've turned Iceman into a whore. That's what you... This, these are the audience that, 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 that Marvel was after. These, this is them here saying it. This is what they say. Next one. Y'all assuming Hulk is a top. And that's how I know I'm built different. Next one here, I feel like Hook is true verse, but someone used the term pass around party bottom to describe Bobby and I don't know, it just fits, you know. You have people talking about 
whether Hulk should be on top or the bottom or whether Bobby is going to be on bottom. This is the kind of shit that, 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 that you got to stop with these people. This, 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 is the, this is what they're talking about. Not the character of Bobby Drago. No, no, no. Whether he's going to be the giver or the taker, that's it. This is, this is, what, this is what they're doing. This, this is the audience Marvel is desperate to get. Go on. Next one. First of all, Hulk is obviously a locked bottom. And Bobby isn't interesting enough to be a pass around bottom. He gives me service stuff. Oh. God, boy, it's just thick. And, and, and next one. People Hercules is the, bot, is the power bottom for sure. Herc is just using Iceman for ice cock. That's what I was saying. As a new king challenge to try. This is their discussion, you know. This is it. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, is, this is it. This is it. You see... This is what I'm saying. Yeah? This, this is what I'm saying. These are the people who Marvel and the Marvel DC and the rest of them are so interested in, in, in going after. This is the audience that they want. The problem is, you have to wonder when these people became anybody's interest at all. The majority of them probably sit around on a daily basis jacking off the God alone knows anything and not doing anything practical at all. Their entire lives revolve around who they want to ship. That's what, that's what they become about, you know, who they want to ship. Who they want to get together with and bang and so, so they could talk about that online constantly. But there's no actual anything to these characters. People acting like, you know, oh, if you don't do this somehow, not representation, all kind of nonsense. No. It's the same thing like Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn's so-called relationship. When they got together, people were like, oh, 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 God, they get together so happy and all of this and that and that. All of this drama they were doing and talking about them, all the cutest couple and all kind of thing on like, Where is that relationship that they know because it never made sense to begin with? Ever. You put these two together, but you cannot build an actual relationship with them because all they are are just two relatively disturbed women who just like to bang each other from time to time and scissor that, that that's it. You think two of them Harley Quinn is a, is a messed up lunatic and poison ivy is no better. They try to make Harley Quinn do some kind of hero and doesn't work. She's murdered children. A lot of them. There is no fixing that. Poison Ivy wants to kill people because she loves plants. That's about it. Even when they did the, 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 the um, Harley Quinn TV series, that they did the first season where Harley was focusing on trying to be a villain all her own. That was actually funny. I, I wanted to like that. The minute she and she and Poison Ivy hooked up the show just became drum garbage. But yet, yet the showrunners were getting death threats from people telling them, you know what? Oh, you better not break them up or else. Because these people don't care about these characters. What they want. Is exactly what's going on here. They see these two here, Hercules, play, play arm around, uh, around, around Marvel's newest hall, and they start talking about, oh, you know, oh, you know, one night stand. Who's at top and a bottom? Um, this one is one is a pass around. This one is the, uh, this one here. Look at this hall. Every month they're gonna different, and this is what they're doing. This is the audience that Marvel wanted the problem is these people are sick in the hand all they talk about day in day out is just jacking off that's it that's all they talk about so what does Marvel do reduce Bobby Drake one of the coolest experiment one of the coolest powers because most most people don't even really come to realize how much of a cooler power Iceman actually has it I mean, really versatile because there's water in the atmosphere everywhere. The things he could do, really amazing. Really, really freaking amazing the things that Iceman could do. And what have you done? Reduced an Omega level mutant to a freaking gay whore. That's what you've done. Pete, this is why comic book fans are walking away from all this gay shit. People are sick and tired of it. You're no longer telling stories for fans. You're no longer telling anything. You're just putting out gay content and acting like, you know, oh, well, if everybody don't love this, or oh, you're some kind of bigot or something like this. No. 
What the hell does any of this have to do with anything? Listen to this discussion. Who's at top? Who's at bottom? That's it. That's what they're talking about. Going, 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 one about, oh, look at this hall, sitting, sitting, sitting on a different, you know what, every month. This is what you have done. You have turned, you have turned an omega level mutant into some freaking you know, horror that gets passed around to any, to any gay cock out there that, that wants it. This is it. This is what you've done to Iceman. This is the audience that you're after. And this is what they're doing. They sit around talking about nothing else about other than who's at top, who's at bottom, who's going to get this, who's a whore, who they're going to ban. Because these people sit around on a daily basis jacking off to whoever they're shipping. But for some reason, you're also afraid of them. You must stand it to them. Why? What can these people do? Nothing. Do they buy anything? No. It's very hard to work when you have one hand down your pants on a constant basis daily. They support nothing but these are the people Marvel and DC are desperate. Desperate. This is the audience that they desperately want. Well, there you go. This audience that they're so desperate to get has turned an Omega level mutant into a whore and Marvel is somehow happy about that. This is just sick and disgusting. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I have a different opinion. I love this. I love to hear it. If you, um, if you, um, if you like the video, sure hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.